At the turn of the century, the suffragettes campaigned for women to get the vote. And in recognition of their immense courage and bravery, they were given pieces of jewellery to commemorate what they'd achieved for women. So we decided that something should be done for women scientists to celebrate their contribution. And so we joined with design and jewellery students at Central St Martins to make pieces of jewellery for these amazingly talented women. I think what's fantastic about the project for our students is it gives them a chance to do really kind of quite thorough research into an area that is not necessarily associated with jewellery and it, it informs the students in a much wider context. Now we're celebrating on Ada Lovelace Day the contribution of women in maths and computing. The German Navy have introduced a new layer of encryption to their Enigma machine, the fourth rotor. Beautifully done, isn't it? I'm with yeah. two fantastic computer scientists, so we should find this easy. And we got a message to decipher. We had to do analysis of frequency of letters, and I always remember E was most frequency. The extraordinary thing about this is that it was women sometimes who made these major, major advances and yet they weren't recognised at all. But I think we do know most of each other because often when we go to events, um, well we meet in the toilets, but um, I think we bond, I think there's a bit of sense of camaraderie because there aren't so many of us. The first thing I'd like to do is change the way we present and teach computing at school. Mm -hmm. I'd like to be very clear, it's a fundamental science. The work that I'm doing now, um, and the work that you're doing now I think as well, you're taking um, that fundamental computing and you're applying it to other areas. So there's that great opportunity to work with other disciplines. Mm -hmm. How lovely to be here again, how lovely to be here among friends, how lovely to see yet another crop of fantastic women. Sue is somebody I met about 10 years ago and I was immediately struck by her and I thought there's a girl with a future. I ended up in a refuge for six months with the kids and living on a council estate in Brixton, bringing them up on my own. So I decided that I needed to go to university. So I did a degree in computing and then did a, a PhD in software engineering. <laughs> Girls are treated different than boys in school, despite the best intention of teachers, parents, and there's still a big perception in the world that maths and computing are male things and that women ought to be interested in something else. And so the purpose of the award is to raise the profile of women in the field. So now we come to our next computing award winner, and it's Dame Wendy Hall, a legend in computing, if I may say so. She's told us that gender imbalance must become everyone's issue, not just a women's issue. And I think we should wholeheartedly adopt that. I was very interested with the term suffrage science. When I looked that up in Wikipedia, suffrage is about being able to vote. And I thought, actually, yes, these sorts of awards are about giving us a voice, actually. Because if you don't get to the top table, you don't have that voice, and so you can't actually help the next generation come along. You've got to do the pose for Twitter. Come on. A pose for Twitter. <laughs> I really have spent quite a lot of time naturally trying to bring new people in, and particularly women. So I think this is going to give me more of a focus, you know, I'm going to think about that. It's given me a structure for it to actually bring it forward. So now we come to our category, which is the Communications Award winner. It's for somebody who I think has uh, been extraordinary in the communication of maths and it's Dame Celia Hoyles. Delighted and honoured uh, to have been given this award, to be amongst such amazing women who have already got awards in computer science and mathematics. And I really wonder whether you need a communicator. And I really hope that we can somehow, together with these award winners and passing on to the next people, we can somehow inspire more women to discover just how beautiful maths is. For me, it really represents a couple of challenging paradoxes that I'm looking forward to addressing. One of which it's about the individual when actually I see myself as a team player. And for me, that's really important, is about how do we make teams recognised? And that's teams of men and women, diverse teams. You sometimes don't actually intend to be a role model. You're not actually going out thinking about it. As you say, you're, you're just getting on with your job and trying to do it well. Yes, and I, I hope it will be a conversation mm. piece. I have to say that I feel uh, in awe of all of you. I, your talents are so above anything that I could ever, ever hope to achieve. And I just think you're uh, tremendous. 
and do enjoy those brooches while you have them and you have to pass them on. Yeah. <laughs>